Hi, I'm Kuljit Bamra, and this is my series on demystifying Indian music. In this episode, we'll be looking at all the styles and genres found in Indian music today. I won't be going into depth into each of the genres, because India is a vast musical landscape of many traditions and styles and over 35 different languages. But what I will do is give you the necessary tools and listening skills to be able to identify each genre of music by listening to a performance or watching a performance very briefly. So first, let's look at what's commonly known as Indian classical music. Now, many people ask me, why is it called Indian classical music? Because Western classical music is, you could say, is the classic music of the West written by the great composers. So why is Indian classical music called classical music? Sadly, I don't know the answer to that question. But all I can say is that some people think that it's music for the classes. Now that may be upsetting to many of you, but let's just assume that that's the case. Because really, if you look at the overall landscape of Indian music, Indian classical music, in terms of sales and commodity, represents a very small proportion, probably about 5%. But what's interesting about Indian classical music is that it provides the arena and the foundation for all the musical learning that takes place in India. So if you're a musician or a composer or someone who's interested in performing any sort of music in any other genre of music in India, you would learn in an Indian classical environment. So you will start off by studying uh, under a guru or a teacher unless you're someone like me, who is self-taught. So what does an Indian classical music performance look like? Well, traditionally, it would take place in a concert hall or in a sit-down environment where there is an audience and a stage. So there's a definite delineation between the two. And you would see a soloist, perhaps a sitarist, or a saringi player, or a flute player, but a virtuosic soloist and a tabla player, and most likely someone that plays a drone, a tampura player. And the soloists would explore a raga. Now, there's a whole episode dedicated to raga and what that is. I'm not going to do it right now. But it would be an improvisationary performance within the constraints of the raga, and the musicians would express themselves through their instruments or their voice. If it is a vocal performance, Generally, it tends not to be lyrical or poetical in structure. It's, it's a bit like jazz scatting, where the uh, soloist can um, show his or her prowess with the actual raga and scale and present the emotion through that vehicle. Here's an example of a typical performance. <laughs> <laughs> 